I mentioned in the last video just how lazy I am when talking about making this video. I said maybe I'll write some tests for an AI program of mine, some some old thing that I wrote, but I, I'm kind of lazy so maybe I'll just do it on a simple program. However, I'm going to be taking that a step farther and I'm going to be just taking it out of a previous video I made called... It is called an entire software development life cycle, full guide tutorial. Good name. In that video, I go over everything from the IDE, from coding a Java terminal application, to writing tests for that application, to doing a version control with GitHub, and then doing a CICD, which is continuous integration and development. I do all of that in this video, so it's like, I don't know, like 40 minutes long, give or take. And um, I'm assuming, I'm, I mean, Many of y'all probably haven't seen that video, and if you did, maybe you didn't make it to the testing portion. So I'm gonna be taking that portion out and putting it in this video so I don't have to redo it. I also wanna really talk with y'all, uh, just sit down and talk with y'all a little bit about uh, a few things that I have going on on, on on this end of things at the end of the video. So if... And now it's time for me to write some tests and hope that they work. I'll get back to you. So we have two tests here that should work. They're telling us that they should work, but let, let me explain a little bit of what these tests are actually doing first. So first and foremost, we have to create an instance of Caesar Cypher within our test, just as we do with main, because we need to access that. And then our first test, test ciphered message with offset of 12. Test names are typically very, very specific to what they're actually doing, so you avoid any type of confusion because maybe you want to test ciphered message with offset of 11. You want to make sure that it's very specific. Assert equals with in our test, this is basically saying that this on the left side of this comma right here is equal to this on the right side of this comma here. We are asserting that these two values are equal. So let's actually take the right side of it first, Caesar cipher dot cipher, and we're passing in the message, how are you doing today? And we're offsetting it by 12. Well, we, we've already done this. We know that if we pass in the message, how are you doing today, and offsetting it by 12, just as we see down here, our ciphered message is tie mid q k this. And as you can see, this is the same exact as what we have right here. So yes, this value is the same as this value. This test should pass. And then on our second test, we are testing an empty string. We're doing exactly that, throwing in an empty string within our cipher right here. We are saying offset this by 12, but since there's no letters and it's an empty string, we should get back the same exact thing, which is an empty string. So in theory, this test should pass as well. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and test this. We can right click, come on down to run as. We Right now, we're gonna run it as a J unit test. All right, cool, very nice. We tested it, all right, test ciphered message with offset of 12, passed. Test empty string, passed. Now let's, let's, do, a, let's do a failing test. All right, well, this is our failing test, very quick. All we're doing is testing ciphered message with offset of 11. We change the offset. It's the same exact thing as this. We change the offset from 12 to 11, but we kept this value the same, meaning it should be wrong. So we're gonna come down here, run as J unit test, and boom, it failed. Now there's two reasons a test will fail. One is that obviously the test is written incorrectly, but two, and this is the main reason you write tests, it shows broken code. So if we know that this, right right here, this 12, offset of 12, we know that this value should be equal to this value, but it's not, that means our code is wrong somewhere. That means the offset is incorrect, maybe the way you put it in the array, maybe you added one and now the offset is all weird because the array started zero. It could be anything and that's when you have to start digging into why is this test failing? But for now, I'm actually just going to comment this out, highlight all of it, control slash, comment it all out, save. All right, so cool. We know our tests work. I'm gonna run it one more time just to make sure. JUnit tests, okay, those work. I'm actually gonna come back on over to our main.java file, come over here and click run to make sure that works. Okay, that works exactly how it should work. I just wanna test that out because our next step is creating a GitHub repo and pushing all of this code up to the GitHub repo. And you always wanna make sure you test your code, test your test before you push it up to your remote repository.
In all honesty, I didn't just do it this way uh, uh, because I'm lazy. That was just part of it. <laughs> the, the reason I did it this way is because I actually have a lot of projects going on. I have a few websites that I'm working on. One is for a client. One is my like personal brand website. And another one is I'm remaking First Supply Coffee's website. I'm doing a full redesign. In all honesty, I, what the smarter person would do is try to make the business uh, kind of kind of targeted towards their current audience, that being y'all. However, I'm just such a fanatic of the outdoors and I want to be able to immerse myself more into the outdoor community when it comes to fishing and hunting and boating and maybe even surfing and snowboarding. Not sure if I'll go that route, but definitely the outdoorsman side of things and the waterman side of things that I've that's I've decided to basically rebrand First Supply Coffee. It'll still be called First Supply Coffee, but I'm going to cater it towards outdoorsman and to help even further with that i'm working with a designer to create an entire apparel line or, or merchandise line for it i'd really like to take the next step with first supply coffee which is to open my own roasting facility right now i'm partnering up with a local roaster which i mean don't get me wrong they're great right however that's <laughs> My ultimate goal with First Supply Coffee wasn't to sell you coffee. It, it was to, or it still is to build a coffee company that will last a lifetime. Something I could build now for future generations. Somewhere my kids could one day, my, my future kids <laughs> could one day work and take over if they wanted. And I mean, bringing it back to y'all, how fun would it be? Because I, I just have all these different ideas and possibilities for it. How fun would it be where if I was roasted my own coffee, and I would just try this blend, this blend, this blend, all different types of roasts. I'll try them. I'd send them off to however many of y'all to try them. Y'all tell me what y'all like best. And like I said, I know I'm not like marketing it towards like software developers, but I, I still want y'all around for the ride, right? Like just because I keep saying like, wow, I never say like, I'm a little nervous, I guess. But regardless of where of where it goes and what direction I, I take it, I want y'all to come along for the ride. And not only that, I would love, to, in, instead of just sending y'all the coffee, what if I like flew some of y'all out to the facility, tour the facility, we taste some custom coffee, tell me what blend you like, similar to what I just said, but in person here, just make a whole day out of it. I don't know. I think that would be fun. However, um, unfortunately, I ran the numbers and... It's really just not feasible to do that right now. I'd have to invest in a warehouse space that's rent. I'd have to invest in a roaster and anything else that comes along with all of that. But I also know a big reason to why the numbers aren't aren't adding up is because all I'm offering right now is a single blend, it's a medium roast, and it's whole beans. So starting today, actually, we're gonna be offering that same medium roast, which is really good, but I may be biased, so I don't know, don't take my word for it, but as grounded coffee. So you're gonna be able to buy it grounded or whole beans, and I'll be temporarily dropping the price to cost. That's from $17 a bag down to $12 a bag. When it comes to buying the coffee and the packaging and the fees, that's pretty much what I get each bag of coffee for. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything about shipping. I've tried everything. I've downloaded so many different apps to try to get the best deal when it comes to shipping. But I mean, it is what it is. I've also adjusted shipping if you were to buy two or three or four because as you ordered more previously, I started eating costs, which I understood that, but it made sense at the time. But since I'm not making any profit on this, I had to adjust that. So what you see is how much it costs me to ship. I mean, obviously I'm not here to make profit on the shipping costs. And you may be wondering why I'm doing this. It's to gather data. I wanna see if I invest in my own facility, what to expect. Because I ran the numbers and I know based on that, I'll be able to offer the coffee anywhere from $10 to $15. I have no idea what to do about shipping yet. If sales increase to a sustainable amount over this next, I don't know, let's say it's gonna be a week from this video going live, maybe a week and a day, how about that? Over these next eight days, if sales increase to the number that I need it to, great. If not, I'm just gonna to have to refigure out what to do with First Supply Coffee. That's it.
I'm going to be working my best to be able to expand this brand. That's why I want to integrate the apparel line because I think that'll help generate more revenue. I am going to be giving this a little bit of time. I'm not going to say, oh, one week or eight days from now, close it down because sales didn't hit it. I'm going to keep on trying and, and keep on trying to get it to where I need it to be to fulfill my ultimate goal with it. Obviously, just like in every other video, I'll link the First Supply Coffee website down in the description below. Look at it while you can because I'm redesigning the whole entire thing and the only other way you'll be able to see it is in the video where I made the whole entire thing. I guess that didn't make much sense. Just whatever. <laughs> I just wanted to be open with y'all and talk with y'all a little bit about that. I hope you enjoyed the coding unit tests. If you have any questions about that or anything about the coffee business or anything at all, really, leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to help. Leave a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this.